Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will talk about Power BI services. So we are starting with a new series of Power BI, which is Power BI services. We will see what all things we can do using Power BI services and what Power BI services is all about. So let's get started. So what is Power BI services? Power BI services is like a smart platform by Microsoft that helps you to turn your messy data into easy to understand visual reports and charts. In a very simple term, if I want to say you what Power BI services, it is like a superhero in a digital world. It helps you see, understand and share your data in the way that makes sense to you and your team. So basically in Power BI service, what all things you can do is whenever you create your report in Power BI desktop, you can publish that onto Power BI service. Now Power BI service is an online service for your organization wherein people to whom you have given access to your reports can view or make changes or download that report without logging into Power BI desktop. Okay, so it is like an online portal wherein you can see, download, you know, edit the reports. You can publish your work that you have done. That's what you can do in Power BI service. Okay, so as I said, it's a cloud based platform it's an online service it's a cloud based platform wherein you can uh, you know share your reports and dashboards you can do a data refresh you can also you know you can also apply securities and permissions wherein who can access this report what all uh, permissions like you can give it to other people in your organization you can also use the NLQ language, that is the natural language querying. You can use it in Power BI service. You can connect to the APIs. You can collect, connect to, you know, the SQL pools, uh, Azure services, AWS, whatever things you want. You can connect, connect that with Power BI service. Uh, you can use a collaboration features. You can, you know, monitor and audit things that are happening on your Power BI service. Okay, so these are the things that we can do in Power BI service. Okay, but before we go to Power BI service, uh, there are a few points that we need to remember. I mean, these are very basic points or this is the starting points to use Power BI service. Okay, so what are they? First, we need to have a user account to log into Power BI service. So, you know, you have been using Power BI desktop wherein whether you sign it or you don't sign it you are able to use the power bi desktop however in power bi service what you have to do is you have to log in into your account once you log in into your account then you will be able to publish the work that you have done on power bi service so that the other people can view it on clouds okay so yeah as I said, we need to have a user account, but the user account should not be your personal email ID. What I mean here is we cannot use our personal email ID like Gmail, Yahoo, uh, any other account like Orkut, etc. We cannot use it in Power BI service. Power BI service won't allow us to log in into the account by using the personal email ID. Instead, we need to have a business or education account to use power bi service or an organization account to use power bi service so example if i want to say uh, the organization account could be like abc at uh, teams.com xyz at microsoft.com etc so you know a company name or an education firm name is mandatory to use your power bi services okay so these are the basic points that we have to remember before using the Power BI service. So now let's take a tour of Power BI service. How does it look like? How or what is the user interface of Power BI service? How it looks like? So let's move on to the Power BI service. So there are two ways to log in into Power BI services. One is by using Google and the other one is by using your Power BI desktop. Now let's see how we can use Google 
to connect to Power BI service. So here we will go and have to type app.powerbi.com and if you can see on the very first page it gives me an option which says Power BI sign in. Just click on this Power BI sign in. If you are using it for the first time it will ask you to enter your email ID but if you have already logged in previously then it will directly redirect you to log into Power BI dot com on the power bi service okay so now i have just logged in into the power bi service using my business account and this is how a page looks like of power bi service okay so if you see if you see on the right hand side it gives me an option it's give me an option and show me from which account you are logged in what is your license type whether it's a free account or it's you know premium account pro account which account you are logged in with you have a lot of options on the headers like you can have a feedback you can share a feedback with microsoft you if you need any help and support you can go and click here here are the download options wherein if you click on that option it will ask you whether you want to download power bi desktop you want to download the data gateways, paginated reports, uh, Power BI for mobile, so on and so forth. So we will explore these options as we progress uh, into our series of Power BI services. Then you have the setting option wherein you can set any kind of your prop preferences. You can add, uh, manage the Power BI settings, storage and everything on the setting option. So you also have a notification option wherein if you get any kind of a notification from microsoft you can go and uh, you know have this notification here now if i come to the uh, left hand side i have a lot of options which says as home now this page if you can see this is a home page of power bi service wherein there are few recommendations given by uh, microsoft itself in power bi service once you logged in then you can create you can create options you can create your own report by clicking on this by adding your data sets or you can add your data manually then you have browse option wherein uh, on this particular page you will be able to see uh, when and how many times your workspace was opened then you have one lake data hub wherein you can manage your data across your organization from different sources you can add your data sets or you can add your sql pools you can add your uh, azure cloud storage data lake so on and so forth by using microsoft uh, power bi services by the way this has been changed to from microsoft uh, power bi services to microsoft fabric we will see that what microsoft fabric does in a later videos uh, here you have an option which says apps this is also used uh, to save all your reports and view in an app so what is apps we will be seeing it in a later videos these are the metrics so wherein you can decide your kpis uh, your organization kpis and create a dashboard using this again this we will be able to see in our coming videos monitoring hub as i said here you can monitor all your activities and track which all activities are happening on your workspace on your data and everything this option is for your learning so if you are stuck somewhere you can go and learn from power bi community from documentation everything below you can see there are sample reports that has been generated using the sample data sets using some artificial intelligence and so on and so forth so this is your training module where you can go and check the details now this is where we will be mostly working with so this is a workspace what is a workspace how to use a workspace how to add a workspace everything we will be able to see in our next video in our coming series of power bi services this is my workspace my workspace basically mean a personal workspace okay so this is how our power bi service web interface look like so that's all in today's video hope you like this video please please subscribe and comment your queries below have a great day